Okay, cardamom and mango. Sure, sure AI. We're back at it. I asked AI again, give me some recipes. Give me the world's greatest recipes. And it did, it gave, it gave me recipes. If you missed the last video, I started a series where we're asking AI to create recipes where they're the world's greatest or some interesting gourmet version. And the cookie one was very successful. I might as well give you an update. I've made the, the cherry ones again, me, they are, unbelievably good, so good. And so I felt like it was very seasonally appropriate to ask it to make ice cream. Well, not make ice cream, but give me recipes for some really good ice creams. Top notch, top drawer. And I also asked it for some mix-ins. Like what are some good pairings? You know how they do like wine and cheese? What's a ice cream pairing? What does that look like? So we're gonna do some of that today. And if you like this as a series and you wanna see more of these, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know we can kind of continue doing this. And subscribe if you haven't already. New videos here every single Saturday. And now let's dive into uh, recipe number one. Starting with my initial conversations with AI. Okay, ChatGPT, what do you got? Write me a recipe for the world's best ice cream you can make at home. Divine Delight ice cream. Okay, okay, so it's typical egg yolks, vanilla. So it seems like it's like a, oh, it's like, oh, custard. Hold on. Oh, they want like a, like a real high class level vanilla. I can't do the almonds though. True culinary masterpiece. I like that. Make the above recipe nut free. They just took out the almonds. Okay, we could do that. Recipe for gourmet ice cream. Whoops. Spelling error, please. I love how they have these titles too. Opulent indulgence. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting to ask them to make it without any nuts in it. Edible gold leaf? No, no, no. Unique flavors. That tastes really good. Oh, zest of one lime. That could be interesting. And cardamom? Passion fruit puree though. I don't know where I would get that. Unique ice cream mixins that people wouldn't normally add to ice cream, but it's really good. Balsamic reduction, interesting. Olive oil, popcorn, popcorn. That's not one I would have thought of. Oh, cheese crumbs, no, I don't know about that. This feels like a good starting point. Okay, let's see what we can come up with. And so I gathered, I think most of the ingredients for that. I asked it for a whole bunch of like interesting mix-ins or things that you could put like on top of or combine with ice cream. And so, I mean, it found a bunch. It found some real interesting ones that I would personally never have picked. But we're gonna do that today. There's just so many different options. And what I failed to mention is that that recipe that it's created is essentially, it's the basis of creme anglaise. So it's got the egg yolks, it's got the cream, it's got the custard kind of development. And of course, obviously, we're gonna be using the nectar cream, obviously. You don't know, I did test that in another video. I need to make the protein ice cream. I don't know if you've seen that floating around the internet, but I need to make that. Somebody remind me. But with the Ninja Creamy, if you're going to make those recipes, you need to freeze all of the ingredients well prepared in advance, like the day before. So making the creme anglaise was yesterday Rachel's problem. Hi, it's called half doing your makeup for another video before you realize that you need to start the creme anglaise. So that's what we're gonna do. This is an involved process. I'm mildly concerned I'm gonna mess this up. All right, so we have trusty Franny and we are adding to her three quarter cup of granulated sugar, six egg yolks, two teaspoons of vanilla extract and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Yeah. It wants me to mix this together until it's like slightly thickened. Um, this was actually the second step in the process and I wanna do this first because the other one's on the stove. Honestly, it's basically good at this point because I just want it like slightly thickened. Maybe a little bit more. I wanna leave this actually. Now we're going over to the stove. Here we're gonna be combining two cups of heavy cream and one cup of whole milk. This is over medium heat and I'm gonna whisk it occasionally because basically you just want this to steam, not boil. They're very clear about that. Just gonna be over here, just aggressively staring at it. Don't worry about me. Okay, Chris is gonna help me by pouring this in while I whisk this. Uh -oh. This is, by the way, half a cup of the uh, steamed cream mixture. Ta-da! And then this is now gonna get poured back into the rest 
of the steamed uh, uh, cream mixture. Christopher, have you ever made a creme anglaise before? No, I've seen it made, but um, no, I've never done it myself. Looks more difficult than it is proving, but I guess we'll see what the end result is. <laughs> Fingers crossed we don't have a ton of egg bits in here, though we do have to strain it after, so we'll see. And now I have to whisk this. It says a wooden spoon or, or, or a heat-proof spatula for five to seven, Thin minutes. Being really careful right now to like get the bottom. Please don't burn, please don't burn, please don't burn, please don't burn. And now pouring it into the fine mess strainer to get out any egg bits. There are a lot of egg bits. Maybe I did this wrong. Oh, it's so steamy. Oh, this is all like cooked egg. I made an omelet. <gasps> so now, I mean like that doesn't work. So I guess I didn't temper the eggs enough or something. Oh, now I have to, I have to, do it again. I really thought this would work. I'm so annoyed. Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't whisk long enough. I'm gonna say that's what it is. So I'm just gonna try again. Okay, I'm back. I have on more makeup and I have <laughs> pizza. So here's things that I did a little bit differently. Cause now, now, look at that. Oh, she looking good. So things that I did differently. Number one, I put in a gradual amount of the hot cream into the mixture with the eggs and I whisked it a lot faster before incorporating the rest of that half cup or whatever it was to temper it better. And then at the stove, I, instead of doing it on medium, I chose medium low instead. And then the other thing I did, I was trying to find it, but I took one of just like those thermometers and I was checking the temperature as I was whisk it, not whisking it, but like stirring it around. Cause it, when I read online, it said you need to get it between 165 and 185. And I think I overcooked it the first time. So I got it to 165 and then I got nervous. And so I bailed. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to let this sit out to kind of cool, just, just chill in there for 20 minutes. So I have the timer set. And then after that, put some saran wrap so it like seals the cover so it doesn't like have like a skin that forms. That's gonna go in the fridge for about four hours and then I'm gonna stick it into the little like creamy containers because I think I have enough for two. And then back to Rachel. Hopefully this works. Which brings us to now um, where we're gonna go and get it from the freezer. Okay, I have recipe number one. I decided I wasn't gonna bring up both because I'm not gonna be able to do both at the same time. And actually thinking about it now, there are two small babies sleeping upstairs. So perhaps I will use this Ninja Creamy downstairs because if you have children you know, you don't want to wake them from nap time. It's just gonna be disastrous. So let's, let's go to the basement. Okay, I brought it down to the basement. Just me and the giraffe. We're gonna blend this up. And I can't find a lot of information on what each of these mean, but I do know that the gelato recipe on the Ninja Creamy booklet calls for egg yolk. So I think I'm gonna use the gelato setting. Turn it on, gelato. All right, I think it's done. Let's see. I can't do this one-handed. Hang on. Ooh, very thick and creamy. Wow. Okay. The only thing I will say is that it looks separated on the side, which kind of concerns me. So I don't know if I just want to like give this a quick mix and then remix it again. Like it looks separated on the sides here, but like everything is one single color. So I think that's good. Lauren, you want to take a taste test of this before I add chocolate to it? Sure. It's a creme anglaise. Cheers. It looks like it's gonna taste like mangoes, and I'm guessing it's not gonna taste mm -mm. like mangoes. Okay, so it tastes like French vanilla ice cream. Yeah. It's like um, egg yolks and cream and sugar and all sorts of stuff, and then you have to like mix it on the stove. AI hey, wanted me to do the most to make this happen. This is just the base. It's all about the base. No big trouble. But now I'm gonna add chocolate, and then we can try that one. It's a good base though, I'm kind of excited. So now I need to make a hole, hole in the middle for the mix in, because it wants me to add dark chocolate to the, the world's greatest ice cream. Cause that's the one obviously we started with. I didn't even explain this. I got too excited about ice cream. First one I'm making is the world's greatest ice cream, or at least I asked it to create the world's greatest ice cream. So far, just from the base, top drawer. It is unreal good. But now I have to add in dark chocolate like chunks. So I actually did this yesterday with a whole bunch of chocolate. Oh, and I also need to make sure it is a hole in the middle, right? Let's see. I want to make sure it needs to be an inch wide like hole that goes all the way to the bottom and then you fill it with whatever, whatever you want. I just need to make a nice little well here, right down the center. That looks good. 
right in the oh, center, Rachel. It's really hard to get it right in, in the middle. I'm doing my best though. I don't know how I'm gonna get a whole half cup in there. I'm bailing. This is technically only half of the recipe and that's half the dark chocolate. So th this does make sense. Please excuse me again for my ninja creamying in the basement. <laughs> Giraffe's just judging me here. Oh my gosh, guys, look how good that looks. Wow, I am so excited about this. Now this is apparently the world's greatest ice cream, according to AI chat GPT. Okay. Oh, it's so creamy. It's very creamy. I don't like the dark chocolate in it. It's fine. It changed the consistency of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's tricky putting chocolate in ice cream because you end up like, they have to be tiny little shavings or you'll like chip your tooth on them. Yeah. So like, it. is it good? Yeah. I'm not mad about it. No, but like, best in the world is a bold statement. Yeah. The plane was better. Yeah, 100%. I would say so. I'll keep you posted on the other ones because I know you have to go soon, but like, mm -hmm. you probably don't want to be around for the next one anyway. It's cardamom in it. That's weird. I don't understand, but like, feels like a weird thing to put in. It is. There's other ones, it, like, it has like cheese in it. I'm really scared. Why? Why do you believe me? Like, it's one thing if it's like cream cheese. It's not though. Is it like cheddar? Is it like no. a brick of cheese? It's feta. You get it. Like, I, I like, know you get it. I like feta, but I don't want it in my ice cream. Or maybe you do, you don't know. Feta with honey is not bad. Is that what's going into it? Uh, I don't know. All right. <laughs> We're gonna find out soon enough. But is this the best in the way that it is now? No, but don't worry because I asked it to make me a gourmet version of the world's greatest. And uh, as I said, it has cardamom in it and some other things. So wish me luck. Good luck. Maybe you'll still be here. And then you can, <laughs> I'm going to force you to eat it. I would try it if I was here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll all see. Right. I even forgot to say that Christopher, with all of the extra egg whites, made a ton of different meringues, including chocolate plain and lemon. Lauren is taking some, obviously, for the squad. Okay, which one is your favorite then? The chocolate one. They're if really you, good. If you liked lemon desserts. Yeah then the lemon one would be quite good. Yeah, chocolate's really good, lemon is really good, but I like lemon desserts. I just thought that was funny. I just came downstairs and he just got like these, like clouds. He was just fit with clouds everywhere. Yeah. That's what you do when you make a creme anglaise. You have to make the meringues. So now, batch two, because the base is exactly the same between the world's greatest ice cream, which is, wasn't, and the gourmet version. So it's really just about the um, the mix-in. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the last one for this one, minus the chocolate. Just, I'm gonna go ninja creamy time. Let's see if we can do a cool transition. Here we go. Done. And this being the gourmet version, there's a lot that goes into it, but I am, this is so good that I don't want to just do the entire batch with the mix-ins it's, it's requesting. So we're gonna do like a little bowl of it, just like a little taste test. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna put this straight away into the freezer. And there are layers to this one that I need to work at really quickly. So number one was the passion fruit puree, which I obviously couldn't get my hands on. So Christopher actually made their recommendation, which was a mango, mango, apparently I, that's how we pronounce it. A mango puree using just frozen um, mangoes, blending it up and then reducing it down and letting it cool in the fridge. So I'm gonna go from what I think would be the best tasting ingredients to the worst tasting ingredients in terms of adding things in. We're gonna test it one step at a time. So first with just mango. Delightful, that's so good. And now we're gonna add in some lime zest. Test number two even better. The lime really gives it that nice like citrus note. Then it wants me to add in honey, which I, I feel like is so unnecessary. Like I'll do it. It's just, I just really don't see the point in this. Wee! Fight with all the layers. Mm. The honey doesn't feel necessary at this point though I haven't added the weirdest ingredient, which is the cardamom. At least it's weird to me. I've never put cardamom in my ice cream, but maybe it's delicious. So I actually bought like actual cardamom seeds, or I guess the, the pods, and then took the seeds out and ground them up. You don't need a lot. It's like a half teaspoon or something for the entire batch. So I'm gonna take a sprinkle. Because it smells incredible. Absolutely incredible. I had no idea that cardamom smelled that good. Okay, cardamom and mango. Sure, sure AI. Hang on. Proper sprinkle, I need more lime in here. Okay, let me try this again, because I think it's good. 
Honestly, honestly, that's really good. Dang it, AI. The only thing I will say is that I don't think it needs as much honey as it's calling for, just because the mango is quite sweet and obviously the ice cream is very sweet, but the mix of the cardamom just feeling very fresh and the lime adding like a citrus freshness and then you have that richness of the ice cream and then the sweetness of the mango that adds this nice, like it just, it feels very rounded. If you're looking to spice up your ice cream and you have like just regular ice cream and you want to try something different, like it is good. It's like fully melted now. Just creme anglais goo. Mmm, Kershaw is currently out but when he comes back I am making him try every single one of these oh boy I'm so excited mm. and for the mix-ins I thought it'd be interesting to do like a like a battle between them because we're doing again we're doing pairings for these mix-ins so we're gonna start off with the chocolate ice creams and we are going to see which of the two mix-ins makes better sense for the chocolate ice cream and Christopher has come back so now you get to taste us ice, ice cream cream's. time yeah but you haven't tried the the ice cream that um, that we made, the creme anglaise yet. Uh, yeah, I haven't had that. Okay, so we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So this is chili peppers. That's flavor one. I don't know how much to put on top. Also, I feel like I shouldn't use my fingers. I wouldn't recommend it. No. <laughs> I was about to like reach in and that's not gonna be good. They're not crazy hot, but you know, if you touch them, then you'll touch your eye and uh, yeah. then you'll die. <laughs> That's what the saying says. Yeah. They look pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's a great uh, garnish. Great. Oh, I don't want to eat that whole piece. Okay, so there's that one. And then AI also told me that the other thing to put on top of chocolate ice cream is popcorn. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. So I got two different kinds of popcorn, mostly because I want to eat it. All right. <laughs> I miss this popcorn. I love it so much. Do you remember when I was pregnant with Connor, how much I yeah, loved I do. this popcorn right here? So this is the... Um, how much ice cream did you get? Don't worry to mix about in it. this much popcorn. <laughs> that one is like a fun, like a like a candy kind of Ooh, flavor. Fun colors. Fun colors, yes. So right. I figured we could try both and see, because it did recommend the caramel, but then I saw the colorful one and I was like, it's kind of like do. a candy flavored. I felt like that might be good. I don't know. Okay, wait. Are we gonna are we gonna switch back and forth? Am I gonna try this one and then we're gonna switch? I'm the guest here. You tell me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this one first. Cheers. Okay, switch. It's not a very hot pepper. It's not. I was just yeah. gonna say. It's not very uh, spicy. That's not a hot pepper. Should we get like chili flakes? Could try, sure. Could try chili flakes. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Oh, that's gonna be a lot. <coughs> oh my gosh, why do you want so much? Is it better? Yeah, you at least get the spice there. Okay. Cools it down so much though. You could eat a very hot pepper with ice cream. Yeah, I can barely taste it. That's wild. Okay, compared to popcorn. This is weird to me because of the crunch. Yeah, I don't like crunch in my ice cream in general. You're gonna love one of the ice creams I made. I know you didn't put nuts in it. <laughs> Chocolate caramel is nice. All I taste is the popcorn though. I like that. I can't bite ice cream. My teeth are too sensitive. Caramel's such a strong flavor. I need to know if this is better. Ooh, pretty colors. Pretty colors. What's that supposed to taste like? other than pretty colors. Candy. Mm. Did you try it? No, I just picked all of the remaining chili pepper that I made it with a bite. Still not getting anything. Just isn't hot enough. Yeah. And I, I don't have like an iron stomach on this stuff or anything. A medium hot is enough for me, but it's just not there at all. I, yeah, I, I think you really need something spicy. I can understand and I can appreciate spice with chocolate. Kind of fruity. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it with the with the chocolate ice cream. You have to want crunch with your ice cream. If you are like a texture person in your ice cream, I think you will like this a lot. The caramel is better than the uh, color one. Yeah, like I ju it just makes better sense. It is like a richer kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, so which one is better then? Like in theory, I want to say it's going to be the chili. If I got a hotter chili, I bet that's better. But like this yeah, isn't bad. We, we didn't give it a fair shake. It just tasted like finely dicing a bell pepper. Yeah, it's it's just a weird It wasn't thing. the same. You know what, the popcorn's pretty good. It was better than I expected. All right, okay, so we're on the fence about that one. Next one, this one, we're battling with, like it's like a strawberry ice cream. Can you scoop this into yeah. the bowl? I'm gonna go get a thing from outside that we okay. need for this. Mm -hmm. We need an outside thing. Strawberry ice cream with dirt. Mm. And with the strawberry ice cream, number one, we're getting the outside thing basil and then the other one where is it balsamic could be good i know well either will be good i can understand the value in this mm. so i guess we'll just like rip some up it has like a fresh summer vibe 
Oh my gosh, you put so much on. I'm gonna try it, might as well try it. <laughs> Go all in. I'm gonna try this one first. Basil and ice cream. Mmm, leaves in your ice cream, delicious. I had a lot of basil leaves and I really didn't get a lot of basil flavor. I was I was just gonna say that. I got a little of the basil at the end because I was just chewing one of the leaves, yeah. but I mean, it doesn't add a lot. No, it's not as strong as I thought, okay. 100% that's the winner. That yeah, that's so good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Oh, I would absolutely eat a ton of that. It's like the perfect like balance mm, there. It complements it so well. Yeah, that's really good. Just okay. a little bit of, I don't know, tart vinegariness, but still very sweet. Yeah, mm. that cuts the strawberry because the strawberry is a very powerful flavor. That's really good. I like that one. Okay, two more, two more. Bear with me, this one's gonna get weird. <laughs> Bet you didn't expect to put ice cream with cheese today, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't actually <laughs> expect that, that goat cheese or feta or... Feta! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try it. Now this, we have to do some um, switching up of this ice cream. So if you wanna start this with the base, in this one, we are gonna be adding in a little maple syrup. But that's not all that's going into that. Don't, don't Can worry. Can it be all? Because that sounds good. <laughs> it does sound and then good. you're gonna do something weird. <laughs> Thank you. And the other one is gonna get a little bit of um, honey. I don't know how much to put in. Is that good? Guess it is now. Okay, so first we need to mix it. And to the maple syrup one, we're gonna be adding some bacon, which I feel like it's been done before and for good reason. I think that it will be good. Like I can see that being good. It feels very mid 2000s cupcake craze. Cupcake craze? Yeah, when they were like, making fancy, ridiculous cupcakes and putting bacon on them, and they were all bad. <laughs> I'm sorry if you owned one of those and went under, it's because you made bad cupcakes. No! And now, oh. the piece de resistance. A little bit of cheese for your ice cream. Okay. I mean, like, it's, you know, sweet and salty. It's a proven concept. Could work. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try this one first, and then we're gonna swap. Okay. Poker face. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like either of them. Neither are good. No, I fine. thought that the bacon one would be fine. Yeah. It isn't. I thought there was maybe some hope for this because I was thinking <sighs> the honey, honey, and, no. and um, they also recommend like a fig ice cream. Okay. Fig and, and feta, crumb. Like, I, like I get it. I didn't get enough saltiness from the feta mm -hmm. and all that was left was a weird texture in my chewy ice cream. It wasn't correct. So out of all of these, 100%, the balsamic one, absolutely clear winner. Ooh, now you get to try the one, the, the creme anglaise. Do you try the cheese one again? I did. I put an absolute ton of feta on my spoon okay. with a little bit of ice cream. And actually I will say it was better. Oh. It was saltier. It's not really good. I would not do it, but it was better than the first bite. First of all, all you're gonna need is a single, a single spoon. This one's clean. Yep. I just clean these. Mm -hmm. Okay, just take a bite of that. That's all you're gonna need. You're not gonna want more than that. Oh. Spoiler alert. Don't get me wrong. It's good. However, was I correct? Yeah, I don't like chocolate chips in my ice cream. Yeah, that's exactly how the rest of us felt. <laughs> However, wait, I haven't doctored it yet. <laughs> and I just eat it. You can try that. All right. Nice base. So we're doing some lime. Lime zest doesn't make a lot of things worse. No. Absolutely not. A little bit of honey. Then, <laughs> smell this. That's really nice. Isn't that is nice? Oh, like a tea or something? Cardamom. Every single time I keep wanting to say Cardi B. No reason. No wait, it's not done yet. And then one what? more, one more. <laughs> I eat my ice cream. <laughs> a little mango puree. Oh yeah, yeah. Now try a bite of that with all of the layers. Oh, that's great. Isn't that good? That's really good. Like Mango I- It works so well with it. I went so light on the cardamom the first time and then I added more mm. because it's quite mm. good and that's I really cut nice. the uh, honey down. So I bet that's better now. Yeah, there's not a lot of honey, but- um, yeah. It needs a little bit more lime. I was just using whatever was left over in the fridge, but the, the mango with it- Mango, lime, that cardamom's really nice. The honey, I, to be honest, I even need the honey. It's not necessary, I don't think. It's mm -mm -mm. really good. That's a great combination. I was not expecting to like the cardamom with it as much as I do, but like grinding it fresh. I don't really know anything about cardamom. Wow. I'm I neither did I, but like I got the pods and then I was just like grinding them up, like taking the seeds out. What is cardamom used for? What like in what kind of recipes? What type of cuisine. Please tell me how to cook with cardamom because I, I would like to. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I was like, it doesn't even say anything on the packaging. That 
fantastic. You saved the best for last. That was the best one yeah, by really far. Good. And it's just like, don't put chunks in your ice cream. No, I, I just don't, don't do it. If it's cookie or brownie, I am personally okay with it. If they're soft chunks. Yes. Yes. Or popcorn. Popcorn wasn't bad. I'd be okay with popcorn once in a while. Not Here, all the time. Here's the other thing. Pralines and cream is good. Can't have it. I know, but it's good. We all know it's terrible and we're going to keep it that way. Same with peanut butter ice cream. No one likes it. No. It's really bad, right? No one misses it terribly. No. <laughs> okay, so clearly by far the best one that AI does is the, the, the gourmet. Again with the gourmet. Oh, right. Yeah, those cookies. The, the cookies were insane. I will yeah. link the video at the end because you need to watch that one because the, I made them again. They're in the fridge. Best cookies you've ever made. The brownie cookies or the gourmet ones? Uh. Brownie gourmet. Oh. Those brownie ones were really I, good. Yeah, honestly, I have to give it to the brownie ones only because A, there was so much work and it was combining two insanely yeah. complex recipes. Okay, here's the thing. That one was more decadent. Yeah. Right? It was a big cookie. Mm -hmm. It was really rich. You wanted like half of one and then you were like, wow, this is so sweet. This is so good. Every bite is fantastic. The gourmet cookies from AI, you could eat, they were close enough to normal cookies that you could have a couple of them, but they were better than normal cookies. I just like, I'm on a, a like a train with them right now. Yeah, like great. I just want to keep making them. Yeah. You bought more of the sour cherries because I'm going to make them again because yeah. they're that good. Turns so, out dried sour cherries are not cheap. Not cheap, but yeah. delicious. Worth it. Cooking. But so I good. would have thought, yeah, you can get a pound of them. Do not buy a pound of them. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's, a, it's a trap. Well, thank you for trying all these ice creams with me. My pleasure. I appreciate you. I'm so full of ice cream right now. It was a lot of ice cream. It was a lot of ice cream. I guess you were eating ice cream before I got back. I've been eating ice cream all day. Mm -hmm. That's all I've eaten. Imagine if your 10 year old figures. self could hear that. <laughs> she would be so excited. I was not allowed, fun fact, when I was little, my parents said I was allergic to ice cream when I went to parties because I would yeah. just go like, as they said, like running up the walls. So they're like, she's allergic, don't give it to her. <laughs> Good bit. So. Thank you for all of the ice cream. Well, you are so welcome. Thank you for testing some of these with me, including the cheese one. You were so brave. I am brave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what AI recipes do we need to try next? Because we've tried the cookies, we've tried the ice cream. There's a lot of like sweet desserty ones. Is there something else, a different category we need to be trying? Let me know in the comments what we need to be making and if you would try any of these either mix-ins or toppings or recipes in general. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you want to see more of them and check out the videos on the side in case you've missed any. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic Saturday and I will see you guys all next week.